earlier this year, I, uh, I began to uh, uh, take a, a class actually with five other guys uh, in a management team of the company that I, I work with now. And, and this class was really about uh, coming to grips with, as, as a person, uh, who you really are and how you're made up. And um, ultimately, it actually reflected back the, uh, the, this, this, this phrase that, that uh, is credited to uh, Irenaeus, uh, uh, one of the early uh, church uh, figures. And that is this, that, uh, that uh, the gift of God is, is a man fully alive. And, and, and simply what that says is that we, we are called to lay down our lives. Yes, that's true. But it's not because God's hoping for some sort of, uh, you know, uh, destruction of our flesh to prove how great the Spirit is. Uh, in fact, in the holistic view of, of Christianity, the, the, uh, the, the body is part of the whole. And, and the spirit and the body, they're, they're just they're interconnected. And that's how um, uh, the Hebrews really saw it, uh, was that there was this, this, this person, and it was both, uh, both, both physical and spiritual, and it wasn't segregated and separated like we, we often hear of uh, in Western thought, which is based largely on Platonic um, co uh, concepts. But... Uh, uh, anyway, so, so this concept of being fully alive, uh, it, it, God's given us this desire to be what He's called us to be. And so all of me, uh, for all of you, isn't about, uh, you know, I need to destroy myself so that I can see a bit of Jesus. It's, it's about that God's called us to be fully who we really are. That He's saying to you, come, be fully alive, and be all of you. And all of me will be in you. And uh, if you if you read uh, you know scripture and and begin to get in you the concepts that uh, that there's Christ is supposed to be alive in us, uh, this hope of glory. It, it isn't just the by and by, but it's the here and now. It's both and. Um, and so. The song really came out of this sort of revelation in this class uh, of, of going through and kind of realizing that God's calling us to, to, to step up to the plate, to be who we're really called to be, and to, uh, to hear His voice and to walk in that. Now, in addition to that, there's this, there's this embrace, this divine embrace that Christ made on the cross where He sacrificed His life that we could be fully alive in Him. And so the song really represents a large part of that. Uh, and uh, I had the opportunity uh, to, um, to work with Don, uh, Don Lowen, in, in, in writing this song. And, and he helped me uh, with uh, some of the, cleaning up some of the, uh, the lyrics and just getting some good concepts and someone to bounce things off of. So it was really great. Um, and he actually went through this class uh, at the same time as I did. So we had s these concepts and principles that we wanted to bring out in the song, and that's, that's where it came from. Finally, uh, you know, over the last year and a half or so, uh, I've had family members and good friends that have gone through just really difficult times of loss and pain, and, uh, you know, death in, in the family, and, and uh, it's, it's, I just seen it up uh, close, that, uh, that that pain uh, is just, it's, it's, it's a thing that we, we can't just um, explain away with some quib uh, phrase, and, and we can't uh, appease the pain by saying something. We, we have to just declare that God is faithful, that life is difficult, but God is faithful. And so the song All of Me for All of You is really about saying that, but also saying that um, uh, in the end, uh, when, we, when we see God, when we see each other for who we really are, that the pain uh, will be washed away and the difficulty uh, will be relieved.